everybody. Welcome. Uh, this week, I'm going to share with you five great uh, like events, things that you can watch on your computer. And at the end, I'm going to even give you one podcast episode that you got to check out. So that's six things you're going to get. So I'm going to drink my coffee and let's get started. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater, Nomad Jay. Welcome to another week. And I'm recording this today on Sunday. Normally I record on Mondays, but um, I don't know, I woke up and I felt good and I thought, let's just knock this stuff out. So I've done uh, nine podcast episodes and I'm knocking out the weekly video and uh, feeling good, drinking my coffee and the uh, birds are singing. It rained today here in Northern California. So uh, the air is nice and fresh and uh, let's get started. First one. Bruce Springsteen, man. When I was in my uh, teens, uh, Born to Run had just come out. Um, and then that just lit a fuse for me. And I listened to everything he's ever uh, come out with since. But there's a, a documentary called Wings for Wheels. And it documents the creation of Born to Run. It's got a lot of great interviews with Bruce Springsteen. He's in his car, more current day kind of uh, reminiscing on the experience. And then you see um, him listening to some of the outtakes uh, from the album. And they talk to uh, a lot of the musicians and the people who are mixing the, you know, doing the mixing and uh, they talk about the cover art and uh, the importance of Clarence Clemens and who came and who went and really great. And then at the end of it, there's three, uh, so, uh, three song performance um, from Before Born to Run. So uh, some, some older music, um, just, just the electricity of Springsteen uh, in the 70s, amazing. So check that one out. You can find that. Um, I rented it on Amazon Prime. I think it was like $3 to rent. Number two, on HBO, Becoming Warren Buffett. This is another documentary, and uh, I found it just so informational, so interesting how this guy lived his whole life um, so singularly focused on making money and uh, loving the, the process of thinking. And boy, did it serve him well. And then at the end, he gives like billions and billions of dollars to Bill Gates uh, for his foundation to help solve all the problems uh, of the world, which is what Bill Gates is up to. And uh, it was fascinating. So um, if you've ever thought about the importance of compound interest, um, that will get hammered into you as you watch this documentary and you'll learn a lot about uh, this really remarkable man who's uh, managed to build a company that's in the top five largest companies on the stock exchange and who's worth like $60 billion. So I've been watching the show Billions and uh, in that show, Bobby Axelrod just became a DECA, which means you're worth 10 billion. So uh, Bill Gates, <laughs> so, <laughs> <will you? laughs> so uh, Warren Buffett is worth six decas at this point in his life. So check that one out too. I am a big uh, Martin Scorsese fan. Uh, number three is a documentary that's about an hour long. You can find it on Vimeo. It doesn't cost anything. Just, uh, just uh, Google Vimeo Martin Scorsese notes on an American director and you'll find it and you can just watch it. And some guy followed him around while he was um, uh, directing The Departed. So you get to see a lot of Leo DiCaprio and uh, Ray Winstone. And just it's just this banter that uh, Martin Scorsese has. And you're, you're like right there when they're doing the setups. And he says action and he's looking at the thing and fascinating. And they go to about seven different locations. And you get to see how they make it, how they make the movie, um, the different takes, how he communicated with Leo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio, like I know Leo. Like I know him well enough to call him Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, you know, and, and different ways to move his head and, and different ways to intonate things. It was really fascinating. Uh, so if you love movies or if you love Martin Scorsese or you're like Goodfellas or you thought The Departed was awesome, which I did. I've seen it like three or four times. Um, this was a, a great insight into how this guy makes his movies. Number four, I love The Rolling Stones. And on my Instagram feed, I'm starting to see these extra licks. Every Sunday, they bring out these extra licks. And it's been fantastic. Last week, I got to hear Tumbling Dice 
um, a, you know, live performance. And uh, this week, here's another one just going on right here. So that was from uh, 2015, and uh, that's The Whip Comes Down, of course, uh, from uh, Some Girls, the album uh, in the 70s, which had Far Away Eyes and Shattered, Beast of Burden, My Imagination, probably the last really great Stones album. So it's on, it's on YouTube. Just go YouTube, uh, Extra Licks extra licks and you'll find a whole bunch of them and i think there's going to be four more there's been two so far and there's going to be it's a series of six of uh, great live performances that the stones have done okay number five and definitely my favorite and i've just started this um there's a poet his name is david white w-h-y-t-e and i first heard of david white about 20 years ago i was in a men's event and they read a poem of his called the faces of braga and man, it just it was just such a powerful and beautiful poem. And I bought some of his books and I've listened to him speak. And he's doing this live uh, thing. It's three Sundays. So it just started today. And it's basically on Zoom. It's only $60 for the three sessions. And he just riffed for an hour today on vulnerability. And he reads his poem. He doesn't read it. He, he has memorized those poems. And he just speaks his poems in such a powerful way and tells the story behind the poems. And today it was all about vulnerability. And he says things in such a way that you are in, uh, deeply looking into your own self and how this is uh, knowledge that you can then take out into your life. And it really impacted me. So they're recorded. So I'm, I'm sure if you just um, Google David White um, and uh, Sundays, okay, because they're all on Sundays at 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Um, you can watch the recorded one and then sign up for the other two and, uh, and, and get in on it. Um, really, really um, great, great. It's amazing, really, that this guy is uh, alive still, putting out these great poems, and we get to like sort of sit uh, together with him as he shares kind of the feelings behind what he's written in a way that takes you deeper within yourself. Really powerful, and I highly recommend that. And number six, the bonus, there's an excellent um, podcast episode with Sam Harris and Tim Ferriss. It's on Tim Ferriss's podcast, and they talk about a lot of things, psychedelics. They talk about the current you know, COVID-19 situation. And these are just two guys that are really bright, really on top of it, um, out there in the world doing things. And uh, it's just fantastic to listen to them. So what I've been doing is taking a five mile walk. When I walk, I put on my headphones and I listen to things. And I listened to most of this podcast and I think you'll find it uh, really interesting. Um, being someone that has done a lot of um, psychedelics, I found it fascinating talking about, you know, they were talking about the dosages and the different kind of experiences you can have and quote good trips and quote bad trips and the, the benefits of both. Um, really interesting chat. Wow, I covered a lot here today with you. So um, these are some great things that you can go and check out. They're all available right now, right as we speak. And uh, I highly recommend you go for it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for uh, this week's episode. Next week, I'll see you again. And I'll bring you whatever I've got, the best of what I can find to share with you. All right, you'll go out and have a great day. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'd love to uh, you know, meet with you every single week as I present uh, some, some interesting information that uh, helps me and ideally also benefits you. All right, see you next time. Bye for now.